and welcome to Katrina's Creations. This is episode 288, which is hard to believe. We're coming up on 300 episodes. So actually we have more because I don't count the Wednesdays and I don't count any of the other little videos. So we're way above that. But the Saturday videos is 288. I have a finished object this week. Let's take a peek. Ah, I finished it. So let me show you the last color. So last week I was at the gray. And so I did this last row of pink and I did all garter stitch because I wanted it to not curl. It is tending to flip up a little bit in spite of that. But anyway, it's all garter stitch. And I did an I-cord bind off. So it's like rolled a little bit. It, it gives it a nice rounded edge. I don't know how well you're going to see it. There you can see, it's kind of a rounded edge here. The only thing is I ran out of yarn. Talk about plain yarn chicken right here. Let me turn this around so you can see where I had to fake it the rest of the way and do a regular bind off. Right here where this little bump is, that's where the I-cord bind off. I was two inches short, but I think once I block this, it's not gonna be very noticeable. I think I can fix this so it, it it should be an easy fix. And I haven't blocked it yet, but it is a pretty good sized shawl. Let me show you how big around it is. It starts here. And these last two colors are very similar. This is a little bit brighter of a pink. And then it goes across here. Here is the center. And there is the other side. And I will insert some footage with this around me so you can see how big it is. But going down through the center, it covers my hips. It's that big. So um, yeah, I will stick some footage in of me doing a little twirl wearing this. So this is the length. And here it is in the back. So now on to my work in progress, my forever work in progress. This is the pocket shawl that is done in a basket weave stitch. And I did quite a bit on it this week. Let me see if I can find my little marker. I know it's here somewhere. It was here somewhere. I found it, I found it, it was hiding. So here is where I was at last week. And I have gone all the way up through to here. So this, at this point, if I wrap it around my shoulders, it's, it's still short. It needs to, to go a little ways, but I think I'm going to have plenty of yarn. I do need to save some of this color to make the pocket for the one side because this side, as you can see, is these there are these colors and I want the pockets to match the sides if at all possible so um yeah I'll be working on that I hope to finish that in the next week and then I have to make the pockets so we'll we'll see how that goes but yeah so that's my work in progress what have you all been working on this week
Now in my acquisitions, if you missed Wednesday's video, Knit Crate. This was, Ju this was July's Knit Crate. If you missed the video and you want to check it out, because it's in more in depth where you'll see the patterns and stuff, you can click the link right here and that'll take you to it. But the yarn is super, super soft and really pretty. Somebody said they thought it was red when they first saw it. I did too. I thought it was red till I looked closer and realized it is like a kind of a burnt orange. And this is a Vitalana Silhouette yarn. This is called Sailor's Delight. And it is 50% superwash merino wool, 50% tencel, which is is sort of like a nylon or something along those lines that helps give a little strength to the to the yarn itself. It is really, really soft. It is a fingering weight, and there are 400 yards per skein, so it's a total of 800 yards. And they also sent a goodie in here. And the goodie was a drawstring bag, oh, drawstring bag that says Knit Crate, but then on the back, the drawstrings are attached down here so you can actually use it as like a backpack. I won't, but you could use it as a backpack. So um, yeah, that was a Knit Crate. And like I said, if you missed the video and want to check out uh, what the patterns were that they sent along with it. You can do that. Just look back at Wednesday's video. So, uh, yeah, I'm really happy with that. At first I thought it was similar. Do I have it sitting here? No. I thought it was similar to the color that I got for June's Knit Crate, which was called Old Barn, and it was kind of a rusty color, rusty color red. But when I saw it in the light, I could see that this yarn is definitely more orange. So it'll be pretty for fall, and it's it's lightweight. So I liked all the patterns in the Knit Crate this month, so I, I might be making one of those. So Wednesday's video, we, well actually, upcoming videos. So this week's upcoming videos, we have two. Uh, Wednesday's video is going to be a tutorial on how to do the basket weave, and um, I'm hoping at that point that I am making pockets because I will show you how I'm attaching them to this and I hope it works. So if I don't, those of you who are experienced knitters or experienced crocheters can be looking at me going, no, 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 don't do that. You're going to make a mistake. And I might, but you guys are going to watch me do it, which could be fun. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of using a knitting technique for pockets and I'm going to do it on the crochet and see if it works. So we shall see. It'll be an experiment. Um, yeah, so that will be Wednesday's video. And then Thursday is my monthly update on my bariatric journey. So make sure you tune in to find out how much I've lost or if I've lost any more and what's up and what's going on with that. So uh, yeah, that is this week's videos. Now it's time for Now in our come and get it section this this week, uh, these are the sales that I currently know about. If I run across other ones, I will pass them on when I find them. Uh, Lion Brand is offering 35% off of yarn and kits. And if you have an account with Lion Brand, um, you can get double your points. You earn points every time you buy yarn if you sign up with Lion Brand. So you can actually earn double the points and then you can cash those points in for future yarn purchases. So anyway, that is running that is running through I believe Monday. Uh, yeah, I know it's this weekend, but I think it ends on Monday. So that is Lion Brand. Love Crafts through Sunday, because this stops on the 31st. They have been running sales. In fact, I posted one um, on Friday, Thursday. Posted a sale that they were running on Thursday. Every day during the month of July, they have been running a different sale every single day. So I haven't put them all up for you guys because I figured you'd get sick of seeing sales every single day. I try to only do it if I think it's a really good sale. So anyway, this sale will end on Sunday. So just check out Lovecrafts. And so I have also discovered that because of the currency difference between the US and UK, um, 
sometimes the sales are not exactly the same. So if you click the link down below for either the US or the UK, um, it will, and then just keep scrolling down, it'll tell you whatever their sales are. But they are having special July sales that will end on Sunday um, at midnight. So that is Love Crafts. Over at Knit Picks, they are offering right now 20% off of a 10 skein bundle, but it has to be select yarns. Now the select yarns that they have, and the link I have down below will take you right over to the sale. So you'll see which yarns qualify. But they are pallet yarn, which is a fingering weight. Um, it's 100% Highland wool. I use it a lot. Um, Brava worsted, swish worsted, Brava sport weight, Brava bulky weight, and wool of the Andy superwash. So what you do is you put 10 skeins in your cart and it will automatically at checkout deduct 20% off. So that is what is running over at Knit Picks and I'm not sure how long that one runs either. Then we have Annie's, Annie's Craft Store. They are running the first ever warehouse sale. It is up to 35% off and it runs until August 9th. So it is on select items. I think when I looked at it and clicked on yarn that, were, that was in the sale, uh, there was like 65 different skeins of yarn that are discounted up to 35%. So that is Annie's. Mary Maxim and Jimmy Bean's Wools, both of those, um, I didn't find like sales going on, but if you go to their clearance section, and I have it set up so when you click the link it will take you directly to their clearance section. Uh, if you go to their clearance section, Mary Maxim has some yarn starting at $1.99 a skein, and Jimmy Bean's has uh, some yarn starting, it was a little over $4, I keep thinking $4.49, somewhere in that ballpark. Um, yeah. So those are in their clearance sections. I always go to the clearance and then I go from like lowest price first because I'm cheap. And I, who doesn't love a bargain? So I'm gonna get it the cheapest I can. So those are the sales that I know about and I will let you know if there's any others that are coming up. Otherwise, uh, I will see you on Wednesday and Thursday this week. So thanks again for watching and I will see you all later. Bye everybody.